Shut up and three fifty more popcorn. It's just very crazy, and obviously it's a TV movie, so it's like, hey, hey. <laughs> it's just weird. Um, so they go on their trip. They get there, and they're greeted by uh, Muka Luka Miki. Uh, she looks familiar. She's a very, very attractive Asian woman. Um, and I guess the and they don't they get into it a little bit. Third has like a crush on her, but they don't really get into it like like Mega the thing where it's like where he's like. There's a moment he's just like, oh my god, she's so gorgeous, or you know what I mean. But somehow he 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 runs up when they're on the island, and I'm jumping from back and forth. But this movie really doesn't deserve a linear explanation. I'm just giving the stuff that I read. I'm gonna be real. I kind of fell asleep during parts of it, but it it wasn't like I missed a whole hour, just like five minutes or so, and just random stuff. Sometimes they have like obviously where they break for the commercial. Those lasted like 30 fucking seconds. It's fucking crazy. Uh, can't find it on streaming for free. I had to rent it off of Amazon. Uh, because not even the site where I get my movies from, you know, uh, quote unquote, had it in their library. So I was just, I kind of, fuck. And it was a toss up between this movie and uh, Christmas Story 2, which I didn't even know existed. And that was on HBO Max. But... You know, I kind of wanted to do vacation for a while. I didn't even know this movie was considered. I was just thinking, you know, what's what's the lowest rated vacation movie? And it was a toss up between this one. I mean, if you think about the theatrical released movies, it would be Vegas Vacation. But I actually like Vegas Vacation. But uh, and I actually saw it recently. <laughs> but as a whole. Uh, people have been saying that this one is kind of, it's mixed, but majority of people don't.